Hello. This Friday is career day for Elder students, and this will be the 20th annual career day that's been held here at Elder High School, where we will have about 60 different careers and professions represented in the field house for juniors and seniors to visit with, ask questions of, and find out more about those professions. Freshmen and sophomore, sophomores, they'll be over in the Shaper Center and they will see a presentation by the Hamilton County Coroner's Office on Forensic Science. I hope everyone takes something away from this experience. Have a great day. High school grads today, I think the, the best career advice is to understand that you, no matter what you think you want to do when you're 17 or 18, don't bottle yourself in. Go to college, go get an education, get experience, go get a job that you may or may not like forever and understand that things can change over time. So get a broad experience, try to find out what you like, and don't feel like because you made one choice that you're forever bottled into that. You can always make different choices moving forward, but always keep your options open and don't do anything that closes doors. So stay out of jail and, and uh, move on. I chose pharmacy mainly because three of my teachers here at Elder were pharmacists. Uh, Mr. Primer, Mr. Darnell, and Father Kiffmeyer. Um, I got my first job at Walgreens when I was 18. I liked it a lot, loved helping people, so uh, that made my decision easy to go into pharmacy. So um, the fact that I could help people and uh, work for a great company like Walgreens, one minute is really easy, and that's why I can get into pharmacy. My decision I actually started before career day back in the economics class with Mr. Gergen. But um, yeah, I started to learn about finance and economics back then. And then obviously, I had the chance to walk around and meet some people within the industry when I was a senior. So it wasn't it wasn't anything that was overwhelming that told me, hey, I want to get into finance. But uh, definitely opened up my eyes to a, a new world. So. Pretty cool. You get to talk to some guys who uh, are, you know, in the field, out there doing work, getting paid to do what they do. So it's neat to get a different perspective than like a teacher. So yeah, it's pretty neat. The advice I have for high school grads is think about that. Let's say just to follow your passion. Don't worry about money. Uh, I think if you do something you like. If you study something you like, the money will follow. I think if you go chasing money that sometimes um, you don't end up where you wanted to go and things don't kind of turn out the way you want it and maybe you're not as happy. So, you know, I would say pursue things that you enjoy and then, you know, usually good things follow that because you'll be more apt to work harder, uh, you'll have more fun with it. When you have more fun with it, uh, you tend to find more success. Uh, yeah, career day has kind of uh, impacted my decision on what I want to do. Um, you know, I can't say I've ever really known what I wanted to do. Uh, but talking to uh, CPAs and, and sales reps and stuff like that, I think it's definitely, uh, it's definitely helping you get out there and ask questions and uh, kind of you know give you an idea of, of all the all the different paths that there are to, uh, that there are to take in college. And, but it's a schedule too because you can become addicted to that which is kind of the reason why we have such a problem in this country now about heroin and opiate overdoses. That's another story. And then the other three and fours, especially the fours, are...